third time, unfortunately, that I've testified about deficiencies in the EPA lead and copper rule. And I see my good friend Eleanor Holmes Norton up there, and I wish I didn't know you so well. Uh, because when we met on this in 2004, we talked about the deficiencies at EPA, the loopholes in the regulation, and all of what we could have learned from Washington, D.C. was derailed. And frankly, the only thing that we learned in Washington, D.C. was that these agencies paid to protect us from lead and drinking water can get away with anything. So I am really begging you to do what we didn't do the last two times I appeared before this committee, which is to fix the EPA lead and copper rule and to fix the US EPA. The agencies involved in protecting children from lead and drinking water in this country, including the US Centers for Disease Control, the EPA, primacy agencies, and the water utilities have proven themselves time and time again unworthy of the public trust. They cannot be trusted to fix this problem. They've repeatedly engaged in scientific misconduct and in the written testimony I submitted to the committee, I outlined over the last 10 years five examples of falsified reports from these agencies that have conclusions directly endangering children in this country that have caused children to be lead poison, and they refuse to correct the scientific record, even in the case of an EPA report that they now acknowledge has no data, no data after nine years. I've tried to get this report corrected. They refuse to retract this report. So their callous disregard for the most vulnerable amongst us has really played out most recently in Flint, Michigan. And residents there have, have been living a surreal experience. It's, it's part 1984, part enemy of the people. And I am personally shamed that the profession I belong to, the drinking water industry in this country, has allowed to, this to occur. So in closing, I, I really am just begging you, please, Please, these agencies, do what these agencies have refused to do. Protect kids in this country from lead and drinking water, and let's make them live up to their noble mission and once again be worthy of the public trust. That I'll yield my time to Leanne. <laughs> the gentleman uh, is, uh, yields back. Mrs. Walters, you're now recognized for five minutes.